sideline on this play. Williams over the middle. And caught first down. No. Are they going to call it a flag? A catch, rather, a flag on the play. As Damari Simpkins is rocked. He didn't launch himself, Gus. Mm -hmm. He didn't lead with the crown. He's trying to hit with the shoulder. He's doing everything right, but the strike zone lowers late. Kai Nakua should absolutely remain in this ball game. Number 12 is this ball. That's terrible. He is going crazy on the Irish lead pit 7-0 with a second and two as we start the second quarter play action Savage moves the pocket he's going to run for the first down and he stops short of it a beautiful hit over there by to it he unloaded on him Herbie <laughs> the big fella running out like a like he's an outside linebacker hold it there's a flag though judging from Kelly's reaction there but when a quarterback runs like that first helmet foul. to helmet on the defense, 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 number seven, number seven targeting, targeting. Uh -oh. Barreau, number seven. He's the been ejected. Uh-oh. The play is upstairs under now. review. Now, remember now, instant replay upstairs can overturn the ejection. Remember now, the quarterback taken off, becomes a running back, ducks down. There was the helmet to helmet. But Savage did indeed duck his head, but is to it responsible for not keeping an eye on him. I think the other thing you have to consider there is I, I'd be surprised if this is held up. I, I applaud the officials for making the call the way they did because you send it upstairs to be able to take a lot of different looks at it. The quarterback runs like this. I, you know, it's not that he's a defenseless player. It's more of the defense the, the defenseless player using his helmet as a weapon lowering the helmet and using it into the headgear of savage and using it like i said if you use the crown of your helmet the top of your helmet and it's the initial contact that's where you get ejected but i don't think that will hold up what do you think at home folks his helmet as a weapon after further review the ruling on the field stands wow. number seven is disqualified from the game and we all know why they're doing this we all know we all agree with why they're trying to do this judgment call there tolls out of the gun shotgun snap here comes a three-man rush rolls throwing down the field incomplete and there's a flag on the play now they're going to call targeting for goodness sakes not before on nikki jones they'll call it now on the carolina safety that was dj smith and Garrett Johnson, the intended wide receiver. Golly. Here's the call. Personal foul, targeting number 24 on the defense. Penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot. Number 24 is disqualified. The previous play is under further review. There you go. Okay. So, again, the rule change is that if this is reversed on the review, not only would Smith be back in the ball game, but they pull back the 15 yards. That's what's new. It used to be the 15 yards was there anyway. That's pretty low. It's pretty close. I mean, any yeah. time you're going to get right at the chin level area. One of the bad things about that is Smith doesn't have his eye on the football, Tommy. He should be watching the ball there and not just going after the player. Yeah, you, you can see the DJ Smith, the 5'11", 189 pound freshman from Marietta in his first start, maybe getting kicked out of his first ball game. It's close. Might be in the chest area as opposed to the head. Here's the call. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Number 24 is disqualified. So DJ Smith kicked out of the ball game. That's still a 15-yard penalty and a first down as well. The targeting called on Carolina in the first drive for Kentucky in the second half. Wants to be a high school principal like his dad and grandfather. Connor Cook slides down under a hit, and now there's a flag perhaps for that second hit. Looked like he ducked under the first one, but then got hit late after he slid to the ground. Personal foul. Ooh. 15 yards from the end of the run, automatic first down. The ruling is under further review. After
after further review, the ruling of the field on targeting stands. For 35 is disqualified. Wow. And it was Bolden, the second man in. He's probably making the argument right there that I was pushed down. See, Conklin, number 74, has a good grip on him. Watch that left hand kind of push him toward the running back. And I think you got a great argument to saying that he was pushed into Connor Cook as he's laying on the field. Yeah. I mean, he clearly was. The right arm was was had him on the shoulder, Sean, and the left arm came across and kind of pushed him down into him. So Rosen in the gun. Perkins is right, two wide outs each way. Gets the snap. Sets up the screen. And Perkins, he makes a catch. It gets lit up by Nate Gary, and a flag comes out. They're going to get Gary for a high hit here. It's going to be a high hit on Gary. Boy, he timed that beautifully and drilled him at the 17-yard line, but hang on or maybe a penalty. Could be a help. Personal foul, targeting, 25, defense. Boy, I just don't, I just don't play see. Play is under further review. I just don't see targeting out of that at all. I see a guy making a big, big tackle. We're seeing it for the first time. Oh, and, it's just a good football play, and, man. You know, it, it's, here, here's the problem with this, okay? You're, you're putting de defensive players in a position, and, and he didn't try to lead with his head. He tried to lead with his shoulder. But, that, it, but because it looks the way it looks, you have officials that are just quick to throw the flag. And, and here's the it, he might not have even touched his helmet. He led with his left shoulder. This was not e e ejectable. Lane? Nate Gary even turned his head at the last second to try to get it out of the way so there wasn't any helmet contact, period. Not just on helmet to helmet, but even on the shoulder pads of Perkins. And it, we're getting to a point now where you're going to have to let guys catch it, make two or three steps, and then you're just going to have to tackle them around the waist or you're not going to be able to tackle people anymore. Mike Roddy was not happy at all. He was out in the ear hold of a couple of different referees pleading his case. If he lowers his head, then it looks like he's got his head down and that looks like targeting. So he kept his head high and that's where the helmet contact, if any, actually happened, occurred. All right, we have a decision forthcoming. The headset is off. Here's Ron After Cherry. review, the ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number 25 is disqualified. This has gone too far. Has elected not to use a 10-second runoff. I mean, wow. you were right, Greg, and I can't believe it. Yep. I just think this has gone too far. Mike Roddy is hot. This has gone side too far. I, I mean, I just, I feel terrible for Nate Gary. He he comes up from the safety spot and makes a play. I hope this gets a lot of attention nationally because it, it's a bunch of baloney. Rose